Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make that flower. Isn't that different? And you can trim it down if you want to on the edges. It doesn't matter. I kind of like left them, but you can just to tidy them up a bit. But I kind of like, like that as is. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to need two discs. Mine are only an inch long, uh, inch wide, sorry. Okay. Um, you're going to need one of these foam mats of some sort. This just had brads in it, doesn't matter. And you're going to need 12 skeleton leaves. Now, you can do any size, it doesn't matter. But they roughly have to be the same. So I've got one, two, a bit big, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one a little bit bigger than that. Let's go for this one. Oops, a daisy. There you go, twelve. Yes, it seems a lot, but I think that's gorgeous and will, it's kind of shabby chic. So it will look fabulous on anything. And you're going to need a flower for the centre, so I'll get another one. So you can get another matching one. Uh, I mean, you can still decorate that up even more, put feather on it, uh, uh, trim and whatever you want to do with it. So that's that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your leaf, you fold it in half but at an angle, like a V-shape. Then you fold the bottom part up again, like that. These are <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Take your disc, glue the back. You only need to glue the back and put it a quarter of the way on the disc. Okay. Again, fold in half, make it a V-shape. Fold the bo uh, bottom section up and that on that side as well. So you're making another V. That's all you're doing. Okay. And just fill it in. I hope you can see this. I'll move that till you can. Again, fold the leaf in half in a V. So you've got it flat across the bottom. Take the first section, fold it straight up. So it's like a 90 degree angle. And like that. Turn that around and pop that in there. Keep going. So quick and so easy. You could do this with fabric. And you're going to get a nice flower. A fabric or lace, it doesn't matter. You could do it with either. And there's your star shape. You could have it one on its own or you can do a double layer. I did a triple layer in all, but first you do the double layer. So it doesn't matter if you've got any, anything on your leaf like that, it just comes off. And I won't worry about it anyway. So again, fold in half. Then fold the bottom sections up to make a point. Dob a glue on the back. And then where you've got the split there, you need to pop that so it's in the middle. And you start and do the next row. Okay, again, like that. So quick and so easy. Just like that. Okay. I know a lot of us have skeleton leaves and don't really know what to do with them, but you can make them into butterflies, flowers, whatever you want to do with them. There's no set rule to say, oh, you've only got to use it as a leaf. No. And in my book, we don't do that sort of thing. Okay, now take, I've do two layers, take your flower, pop it on your board and you need something round uh, and something you can really press. You could actually use the end of a pen and just press in the centre. And what you're doing with that is you are actually making a cup like that. Just like that, which brings, it lifts the petals up. Then you need to put... Um, 
another one in so you need to do that with the middle one of uh, the sorry the second circle just do that try and get it as even as possible and that's going to help lift the next lot of petals bit of glue on there pop that back on pop that in the middle like that and then you do another row or layer should I say okay exactly the same in a quarter of that flower so quick and so easy now I've only done plain but you can decorate these uh, leaves you could color them you could two-tone them to get that flower looking better I'm basically showing you the well I am showing you the basics what you do with it when you do it is completely up to you think outside the box color them paint them whatever you want to do with them just remember they do have to um, let me just get right one they do have to bend so if you paint them depending on what you're painting them with you know will it crack the paint I'm on about but there is an awful lot you can actually do with skeleton leaves so there's my flower look at that isn't that pretty you could add beads down in these sections I'm not doing I'm just showing you how to do them just another way of using your leaves if you've got spare leaves in the house you know spare skeleton leaves okay and there you go they're absolutely brilliant look at that so I hope you saw that that will look fabulous on a project and I'm going to do a project later on and use those so until then I shall uh, speak to you soon bye bye for now give it a go thanks for watching